Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. Now, the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the power of 4 on both sides. So I have x to the power of x to the power of 4. So the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And m times n, these two are interchangeable, meaning this is the same thing as a to the power of n times n. And if I can rewrite a to the power of m times n as a to the power of m to the power of n, then this means that I can rewrite a to the power of n times m as a to the power of n to the power of n. So to put this into simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of n. So for our equation here, I can think of x to the power of 4 here as m and 4 as n. So now, because I can switch these two places together, I'm going to rewrite this x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4. Now this is equal to 64 to the power of 4. So all I did was I switched the places of x to the power of 4 and 4. Now, 64 this is the same thing as 8 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 to the power of 2 to the power of 4. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So a to the power of 2 to the power of 4 that's going to equal 8 to the power of 2 times 4. And 2 times 4, that's obviously equal to 8. So I have 8 to the power of 8. Now I'm going to let y equal x to the power of 4. So now if I replace y for x to the power of 4, I get y to the power of y is equal to 8 to the power of 8. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 8. Now remember how we set y equals 4 to x to the power of 4. So now that we know that y is equal to 8, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 8. Now to solve this, I'm going to be taking the fourth root on both sides. So now these two are going to cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to positive or negative fourth root of 8. So that is my answer. All right, so I have x to the power of 2 thirds is equal to 16. So right here, I actually want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of 2 thirds is equal to 16. Now, I'm going to be taking the power of 3 over 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 2 thirds to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So in this case, x to the power of 2 thirds to the power of 3 over 2, that's going to be the same thing as x to the power of 2 thirds times 3 over 2. This is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, 2 thirds and 3 over 2, these two are reciprocals, meaning if we multiplied them, we would get 1, because if you multiply two reciprocals, you get 1. So let's test this out. 2 thirds times 3 over 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. 
So now I have x to the power of 1 is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, x to the power of 1 is the same thing as x, so I have x is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, to simplify this, 16 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have x is equal to 6, or sorry, 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 3 over 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 4 times 3 over 2. And now 4 times 3 over 2 is the same thing as 4 over 1 times 3 over 2. 4 times 3 is 12, and 1 times 2 is 2, so 12 over 2, which is equal to 6. So now I have x is equal to 2 to the power of 6. And 2 to the power of 6, well... 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4. 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. So notice how it doubles every time. So 2 to the power of 6 would be double of 32, which is going to equal 64. So I have x is equal to 64. Now to check... My original equation was x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Now that we know that x is equal to 64, I have 64 to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. Now, 64 to the power of 2 over 3, this is the same thing as 64 to the power of 2. Actually, it's the same thing as the cube root of 64 to the power of 2. And now this is equal to 16. Now, the cube root of 64 to the power of 2, well, to do that, I first have to find the value of 64 to the power of 2. And 64 to the power of 2, that's going to equal 4096. So now I have the cube root of 4096. And now the cube root of 4096 this is actually equal to 16. So I have 16 is equal to 16, meaning our answer is right. All right, so I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 16. So right here, I want to find the value of x. So for the solution, I first start with 8 to the power of x is equal to 16. Now, the simplest way to actually solve this problem is to make both of these bases the same. So right now, our two bases are 8 and 16. And I want to find a common base to change both these bases to. Well, 8 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. And 16, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now if I replace 8 to the power of, if I replace 8 with the power of with 2 to the power of 3, and if I replace 16 with 2 to the power of 4, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, 3 times x is simply 3x, so I have 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, 3x is equal to 4. Now, to solve this, all I have to do is simply divide both sides by 3, and I get x is equal to 4 over 3. Now, to check, my original equation was 8 to the power of x is equal to 16. So now that I know that x is equal to 4 over 3, 
I have a to the power of 4 over 3 is equal to 16. Now, a to the power of 4 over 3, that's the same thing as 8 to the power of 4, cube root of that, which is equal to 16. So now, to solve this, I'm going to first get the value of 8 to the power of 4. And this is actually equal to 4096. So I have the cube root of 4096 is equal to 16. And the cube root of 4096, that's essentially asking what to the power of 3 is equal to 4096, and the answer to that is 16. So I have 16 is equal to 16, and because this is right, our answer is right as well.